Welcome everyone, Johnny Keck over at AMP Futures. Thank you for tuning in. Today in this video, we're going to show you how to log into Market Delta Cloud. Market Delta Cloud is a recent platform that we picked up here at AMP Futures. A very exciting product. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with Market Delta, there was a platform that they had called Market Delta Trader, which still is it still does exist today, so you can still use it. The only difference from Market Delta Trade Trader versus Market Delta Cloud is the Market Delta Cloud has been rolled out as a web-based platform that you can access through your browser. Okay, so what does that mean to you as a user? If you're using a Macintosh operating system, for example, now you have the ability to use Market Delta as your trading platform. So when you the standalone version, what you were downloaded onto your hard drive, it only worked on a Windows operating system. So there was some limitation there in, in terms of what type of operating systems you'd like to use with Market Delta. So uh, as of today, we do have Market Delta Cloud. It's available to use with AMP Futures at no monthly cost for free. It's a web-based platform that's compatible to use with a Google Chrome browser only until maybe perhaps in the future they might start rolling out uh, different browsers that may be compatible to use. But at this moment, Google Chrome is the go-to browser to use uh, specifically for Market Delta Cloud. Uh, from my experience in being in the business for you know over 10 years or so, it seems like the direction a lot of these platforms are starting to take are more becoming cloud-based and browser-based, which is not a bad option since everything is stored on the cloud. You know Whether you have updates to the software, whenever you log into the platform, you're always going to be using the most up-to-date product because everything is updated on the server itself. So therefore, you don't have to manually update your platform if there's any recent builds or any new versions that are available if you were to download it onto your hard drive, for example. So let's get started. We're going to show you how to log into the platform, and I'm going to show you the steps how to log into a 14-day trial as well as logging into a live username and password with our CQG data feed. CQG is the only available data feed that works with the Market Delta Cloud platform with AMP Futures. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to pull up a Google Chrome browser. And real quick, actually, I want to show you just a quick second if you try to access the Market Delta Cloud platform using another browser outside of Google Chrome, uh, I'm sure there will be questions, how do I download Google Chrome? Uh, I would probably say the best thing is use your normal browser that you normally use, for example, Internet Explorer that I have on the screen at this moment. And when you go to www.ampfutures.com, you want to go to our homepage and you want to click on Client Portal. And then you're going to see underneath the Client Portal menu option, a submenu, which will show Web Trading Login. So you want to click on that. And you're going to see the four available web platforms that are available. Market Delta Cloud is the second selection, as you can see. And watch what happens if I use Internet Explorer and I try to access the login screen for Market Delta. You're going to see this application is not currently available on your browser or device. And there will be a shortcut link to download the Chrome browser. Okay, so that would probably be the easiest way to get the shortcut link to download the, Chrome, the Google Chrome browser. And once you get that installed, you'll be well on your way in getting started. Okay, so for now, I already have Google Chrome installed on my computer. So I'm just going to simply pull up that browser, and let's, let's show you how to log in using the appropriate browser. Okay, so same concept, same procedure, www.ampfutures.com. You want to go to that website first, which is our homepage, and then you're going to see here Client Portal, and you're going to want to click on Web Trading Login. All right, from here, I'm then going to click Market Delta Cloud, the second option, and then you're going to see this login screen. Okay, so this is where you're going to have to register. If you're logging into Market Delta Cloud for the very first time, you want to hit that button at the bottom there where it says new register here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as if I was logging in for the very first time. All right, now the one thing that's pretty cool about Market Delta Cloud is one thing I want to make very clear, this login screen that you're, in this case we're registering the email that you normally use and the, the, the uh, accounts that Market Delta Cloud integrates with would be Gmail, Twitter, Yahoo, and AOL. So if you have any four of those accounts, you're going to use the username and password that you typically use to log into those accounts, and you're going to register that email here. Okay, so, and if you're wondering what's the password, you're not creating a password. You're actually using the existing password that you use to normally log into those email accounts. All right, so I created an email specifically for this video, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the email address that I used. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in the password that I normally use to log into my Gmail account. All right, now I'm going to verify that I'm not a robot by checking the option there. And normally you'll see a verification, so select all images with a pizza, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, and then I'm going to hit verify. All right, now you can see that's been confirmed with the checkbox, and I'm going to hit sign up. And now you can see a confirmation email has been sent to your email address. So now you want to log into the email account that you registered with 
and you want to check for that confirmation email that's automatically sent the minute you submit the registration. And this is what the email looks like. All right, so you can see it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is click the link in the email. And it's going to take you back. And this is where you just have to type in your password once more just to confirm your email. All right, and then I'm going to put my short information here. So we'll just do... Uh, And then this information, you know, just make sure you fill it out. So I'll just, I'm just going to put anything here. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to hit sign up. All right. So now, now what's going to happen is it's going to take you into the interface of Market Delta Cloud. And uh, let's wait for that to produce. Now, typically, I, I already had a username and password, so it, it logged me in. Uh, you know, usually I just log in without going through the registration process, but you know, I'm, I'm creating this video under the assumption as if you're logging into the platform for the very first time. Okay, so I want, I want you to see the process. I want you to have an understanding of what you're going to expect if you're logging into the platform for the very first time. So you're going to have to go through this procedure just once, but once you register your email, uh, once you have everything initialized, then all you have to do moving forward is simply just simply log in with the username and password. All right, now this procedure that I've gone through is kind of a more of a streamlined process. So it actually logs you into the platform. And let me see something real quick. You actually have a generic username and password that's already assigned for you. So if you register for the very first time, then that demo account was literally created just at this very moment. The connection was created for you. And you're, you're as we speak, we're logged into the platform. And how I know that, if you look on the top right corner, you can see the two arrows uh, facing west and east. They're green. So if you see that connection green, that means you have a successful connection. Now I click back to my account, and I can see live data coming in on the dome. I can see my chart. So as we speak, I'm logged into the platform, and the procedure is now going to allow me to use the software on a 14-day trial. So that was a quick demonstration on how to access a 14-day trial, exactly how, how I've done. And I didn't take you through the formal procedure. I do apologize for that. But typically, the procedure that you just saw me demonstrate will be the exact same steps when you actually register for a demo off our homepage. And this is assuming you don't have a live funded account with AMP Futures and you're just interested in trying out the software for 14 days and you just want to get in there and test drive the platform and paper trade. All right, so once you're at the website and you, you register for a Market Delta Cloud demo from this link here, what pretty much after you fill out this form right here, it's going to take you to that same login page that you saw a moment ago where it asked me to register the email, and then you're going to go through the exact process that I just demonstrated. Okay, so now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just delete this connection here because I want to make this video also suitable for someone that's trying to log into their live account as well using the live CQG data credentials that AMP Futures has assigned for their account for, for, for live trading. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just take this connection out and delete it. All right, so now I don't have a connection. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log out of Market Delta Cloud entirely. All right, and then let me just move this out of the way. And let's get back to the original browser that we were using. All right, so I want to take you back from scratch, and I want to show you a little bit of a different procedure here. So I want to go back to the ampfeatures.com website. So again, what I just demonstrated is normally the procedure if you're logging into a demo account for the very first time as a 14-day trial. Now, let me show you. If we go back to the www.ampfeatures.com website, we'll go to Client Portal, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Web Trading Login. And then I'm going to go ahead and click right here, Market Delta Cloud, once again. So same procedure. Now this time, instead of creating a new account, I'm just going to simply go ahead and log in with the email account that I've created. And remember, if you go through the prior process that I just demonstrated, when you're logged into the platform, what I'm about to show you in this next five minutes is going to be the exact same procedure for building out your live connection. All right, so I'm going to hit log in. And it's going to log me right back into the Market Delta Cloud interface. And now you can see that I'm going to have to go and build the account connection. Okay, so earlier, just about two to three minutes ago, you already saw the demo connection was automatically created for you. And that's because I went to the procedure and showing you how to log in as a 14-day trial. And so let's just pretend that same demo connection is still there. But this time, I'm going to go ahead and add a new account. 
which that option is also going to be there even if you have an existing 14 day trial demo connection present. So I'm going to hit add new account and I'm going to call this or whatever you know whatever you want to call it. it doesn't really matter so since I'm using CQG data feed I'm just gonna call it CQG and then you're gonna type in or better yet copy and paste your username and password that's been assigned for you so this is typically more for live trading because the credentials when you register for a 14 day trial even though that demo connection was automatically built that's not going to be the case when you're trading a live account okay so the username and password is going to be assigned specifically from AMP we will email that to you if you don't already have the username and password then you're not going to be able to complete this step just give us a call we'll make sure we help you with that okay so in this case I only have a 14 day trial I don't have a live account to demonstrate but it's going to be a very straightforward procedure in terms of how to get that to go live so what I'm going to do is take the username and password that's been assigned for me and I'm going to simply copy and paste the credentials into the username and password section and you want to make sure it's a, cur a perfect copy and paste. So if you can see that there's a little space there after the zero, that's going to be a problem. It will, it will identify that as a character, and it will say invalid username and password if you're trying to log in. So just make sure that there are no spaces before or after the username and password. All right, now, this is a demo account, so I'm specifically going to select the sim environment. But of course, if you're trading a live account, make sure you select the live environment and just copy and paste your live CQG data credentials. Since this is SIM, I'm just going to go ahead and add a new account. And now you can see I have a successful connection on the top right corner. Okay, so you're always looking for the green connection confirmation. If it's red, that means there's something going on. You're not, you're not able to connect. And what's nice about Market Delta Cloud, it will tell you if for any reason you're not able to connect, there will be a little yellow message at the top here that says invalid username and password. It will tell you what's going on. And just go back in there. You can go to edit and recreate your credentials to make sure that it's correct. All right, so I'm going to hit save. And now it's going to take me back to the main workspace page. So this is a sample workspace when you first log into Market Delta Cloud for the very first time. It just makes it a lot easier for, get, to get, for you to get right in there, plug and play, and start using the platform right away. And as you can see, I have chart data. You can see on the right side there, the June mini S&P contract. I have data coming in. You can see that because the numbers are changing in the bid and offer column, and the connection is green. And that's pretty much how you log into Market Delta Cloud. It's a very easy, straightforward process. Uh, really not a whole lot of complication in getting started. And then I always mention you can always create, if you want to get back to the broker profile connection, so you can create additional logins. So if you go here, on the top right corner, typically it'll be the abbreviations of the email account that you use to register with Market Delta Cloud. So if you left-click that and go to broker login, it takes you right back to that very same section. And I can even add another account. So that would be ideal if, let's say, you want to access a demo account and you want to trade your live account. Uh, because unfortunately, as of today, Market Delta Cloud does not have local simulation built within their platform. So you cannot toggle back and forth using one username and password. You actually have to create separate connections, one specifically for demo, which using demo credentials, and then one specifically for your live account using your live credentials. And that's where, if you see right here, I have demo credentials. If I hit add new account, then I can call this live, for example. And I'll just, you know, I don't have a username and password, but I'll just type in username, password, select live and then add the new account. Now, you can see the star there is active. That means that this demo connection is currently active. So if I go to edit, if I uncheck that active and make this active and hit save, now you can see that connection is active. Of course, it's not going to work. As you can see, username and password is incorrect, and that's because I don't have a valid set of credentials for live trading. So I'm going to go back to edit, uncheck live, and go back to CQG, which is my demo account, and now I can hit save. And then now that's how you switch between different profile, broker profile connections. And that's pretty much how you're going to toggle back and forth if you're using a demo account or a live account within Market Delta Cloud. And if you, other than that, guys, that's pretty much uh, how you log into Market Delta Cloud. If you do have any technical issues, uh, please give us a call. We are a 24-hour support team around the clock. We'll be more than happy to walk you through the process step-by-step step and get you logged in. For more videos, please visit our YouTube channel. We're very proactive in uploading content. Uh, we want to provide as much resources to you to, as, as available to, to get you up to speed on our products. The URL for our YouTube channel is www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you very much for your time. Have yourself a great day and happy trading. <music>